We have gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. As we begin this Holy Triduum, this evening we have gathered to remember the Last Supper of Jesus, which he celebrated together with his disciples in which he instituted the Eucharist and the priestly order and the commandment of the Lord concerning fraternal charity. In these special circumstances, whereby many of you or all of you cannot physically be present at this celebration, we bring all your intentions to the Lord in this celebration. We will not have washing of the feet, but with all our mind and heart raised to the Lord in communion with the whole church, we bring our prayers and petitions to the Lord, asking God to listen to our prayers and grant us our heart's desire. And at the beginning of this celebration, let us pause for a moment, recollect our sins, and ask God for forgiveness and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on Peace to men, peace to men who are God's friends. God Almighty Father, Heavenly King, we praise you and we bless you. We adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Glory to God in the highest. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord, Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, receive our prayer. You who are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy, Lord Jesus Christ. You alone are holy, you alone are Lord. You alone are most high. Glory to the Father, glory to the Son, glory to the Spirit, one without end. Glory. Glory to God in the highest. God in the highest. Let us pray. O God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love, grant we pray that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and life through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns within the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen.
A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall be for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell all the congregation of Israel that on the tenth day of this month they shall take every man a lamp according to their father's houses, a lamp for a household. And if the household next to his house shall take according to the number of persons, according to what each can eat, you shall make your account for the lamp. Your lamp shall be without blemish. A male, a year old, you shall take it from the sheep or from the goats and you shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month when the whole assembly of the congregation of israel shall kill their lambs in the evening then they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat them. They shall eat the flesh that night roasted with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. They shall eat it. In this manner you shall eat it, your loins gilded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover, for I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beasts. And on all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you upon the houses where you, where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall fall upon you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be for you a memorial day, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall observe it as an ordinance forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorious Psalm. The cup of blessing is a participation in the blood of Christ. The cup of blessing is, is a participation in, in the, the blood, blood of Christ. Christ. How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the name of the Lord. The, the cup, cup of blessing, blessing is a participation in the blood of Christ. Christ. How precious is the eyes of the Lord, is the death of his faithful. Your servant, I am the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bonds. 
The cup of blessing is a participation in the blood of Christ. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. The, the cup, cup of blessing, blessing is a participation in the blood of Christ. Somo katika barua ya kwanza ya mtakatifu Paulo kwa Wakorintho Ndugu zangu nilio wakabidhi ninyi ndio nilio pokea mimi kwa Bwana yani usiku ule alipotolewa Yesu alitoa mkate akashukuru akaumega akasema Uhu ndiyo mwili wangu unaotolewa kwa ajili yenu fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu kadhalika akatua kikombe baada ya kula akasema kikombe hiki ni agano jipya katika damu yangu fanyeni hivi kila mnapo kinywa kwa ukumbusho wangu maana kila mnapoula mkate huu na kunywa kikombe hiki mnatangaza kifo cha Bwana hata atakapokuja neno la Bwana Tumaini letu ni kwa Bwana kwa maana ana uwezo wa milele Sifa na utukufu Sifa na utukufu kwako e Kristo kitikio Amri mpya na wapeni asema Bwana kama mimi nilivyowapenda nanyi pia mpendane Tumaini letu ni kwa Bwana kwa maana ana uwezo wa milele Bwana awe nani? Awe nani. Soma katika injili ilivyoandikwa na Yohane. Ilikuwa kabla ya siku kuu ya Pasaka. Yesu alijua ya kuwa saa yake imewadia ya kuondoka ulimenguni hapa kwenda kwa baba naye kwa kuwa aliwapenda watu wake waliopo ulimenguni aliwapenda mpaka misho hata wakati wa chakula cha jioni naye shetani amekwisha kumtia yuda mwana wa simoni iskariote nia ya kumsaliti yesu hali akijua ya kuwa baba ameweka vyote mikononi mwake na yakuwa ametoka kwa Mungu na akakwenda kwa Mungu aliinuka kutoka mezani akaweka kanzu yake kando akachukua kitambaa cha kitani akajifunga kiuoni kisha akatia maji katika chombo akaanza kuiosha miguu ya wafuasi na kuifuta kwa kitambaa alichojifunga alipokuja kwa Simoni Petro 
huyo akamwambia Bwana wewe wataka kuniosha mimi miguu Yesu akajibu akamwambia sasa huelewi nifanyalo lakini baadaye utalifahamu Petro akamwambia wewe hutaniosha miguu mimi hata kidogo Yesu akamjibu nisipokuosha huna shirika nami Simoni Petro akamwambia Bwana si miguu yangu tu hata na mikono na kichwa Yesu akamwambia aliyekwisha oga hana haja ya kunawa isipokuwa miguu bali yu safi mili wote nani mmekuwa safi lakini si nyote kwa maana alimjua atakayemsaliti ndio maana alisema si nyote mlio safi baada ya kuwaosha miguu alivaa tena nguo zake akaketi mezani akawaambia je mmeelewa hayo niliyowatendea mnaniita mwalimu na bwana tena kwa haki maana ni hivyo basi kama mimi nilie bwana na mwalimu nimewaosha miguu imewapasa nini pia kuoshana miguu kwa maana nimewapa mfano ili nani mtende kama mimi niliwatendea injili ya bwana we see this evening the son of god king of kings lord of lords tying a towel around himself pouring water into a basin and assuming the role of a servant something that was not seen in the society at the time of jesus a work done by a slave now done by jesus precisely the reason why peter refused it was contrary to the pyramid of power that existed in the world but jesus wanted to change that pyramid of power in his kingdom things are different in his kingdom the last will be the first greatest is the servant of all he wanted his disciples to know that and to take that into heart because he had realized that all through when he was prophesizing about his imminent death persecution they were discussing who is the greatest among themselves so he wanted to change that pyramid of power because in his kingdom there is no second class citizen everyone is valued every person is honored every person is loved and by washing the feet of his disciples he demonstrate his message of love as he says i have set an example for you so that you also should do it to render service a loving service to others so by setting this example he is inviting you and me he is telling us just as i have gazed into your eyes to behold your dignity and worth so you are to gaze into the eyes of the lost and forgotten the poor and the marginalized and reflect back to them their dignity and worth just as i have lovingly washed your feet so you are to touch the lowly with kindness and gentleness lifting them 
to their feet so that they may stand with you in freedom and in dignity. I have set you an example. Seek out the broken and lost. Listen with compassion to those whose dignity has been trampled upon, who have come to see themselves as failure, who are forgotten. By washing the feet, he did not diminish his authority. Rather, he showed a new way of exercising authority, a new way of being with others that is characterized by humility, compassion, and a loving service. And at this time, more than any time, this is what is asked of us. In humility, in compassion, in loving service, to think about others. We are called to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. It is an invitation to catch or to take into ourselves his vision and follow his example. It is to kneel with the lowliest and the neediest and to raise them up. It is to gather with them around the table of the Lord, recognizing our oneness and unity. It is to stand together before God as equals, all with hands outstretched to receive the gift of life that nourishes and sustains us in our struggle to make real the kingdom of God here on earth. Especially in this time of trouble and tribulations, let us follow the footsteps of our Savior. Though physically we are not able to be together, let us uplift one another through our prayer. Let us bring hope into the lives of many that Jesus, who established Eucharist for us, a healing remedy, may heal each one of us, that together with the whole church in this trying time, we may join ourselves with Christ so that we can receive healing and grace from his Eucharistic table. Now let us stand and bring before Lord all our prayers and petitions. On the night before his death, Jesus sat at table with his disciples, gathered to reenact that sacred supper. Let us join Christ and pray to the Father for all our needs. For the church on earth, that we may be guided to a greater understanding of the perfect love and service of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For those in positions of power and influence in the world, that they may understand something of the spirit of Christ's sacrifice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For our Christian community who cannot be present physically at this time that the Spirit of Christ may light up their mind and heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. For all those affected by COVID-19 that the healing power of Jesus may save them. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we come before you and present our needs to you, humbled by the Eucharistic love and generosity of your Son, our eternal priest, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Pokea baba, vyote ni mali yako. Pokea baba, vyote ni mali yako. Pokea baba, vyote ni mali yako. Mkate wetu tunakutolea. Pokea baba, vyote ni mali yako. Pokea. Vyote ni mali yako, pokea baba Vyote ni mali yako Divoi yetu tunakutolea, pokea baba Vyote ni mali yako, pokea, pokea baba Vyote ni mali yako, pokea baba Vyote ni mali yako, mazao yetu tunakutolea Pokea baba, vyote ni mali yako. 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 Pokea baba. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the mercy the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated. The work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is fully right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so, with angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Oh, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John Cardinal Jewe, our Bishop, David Kamau, his auxiliary, and all the clergy and the baptized. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Saint Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Holy one reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the seeing of the body and blood of Jesus Christ not bring us to and condemnation, but through loving mercy, be for us protection, mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. This is the body that will be given up for you. This is a chalice of a new covenant in my blood, says the Lord. Do this whenever you receive it in memory of me. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Usually on Holy Thursday, after the communion, we go with the Eucharist into the altar of repose and have adoration. Therefore, but with these circumstances, we don't have it. Therefore, after the communion prayer, there is no blessing we will disperse in silence. Thank you. <laughs> 